For this video, let's talk about the properties of sigma notation. Let's start with the first one. We have the summation of of constant times f of i from i equals m up to n. This is equivalent to c times the summation of f of i as i equals runs from m to n. Now, ang ibig sabihin lang nito, kapag meron kang function and then it's multiplied by any any real number. In this case, c, c is any real number. Okay, if you have a function, if you have a rule multiplied by any constant, you can factor that out. Now, let's uh, show the proof. So, this one, summation of uh, c, f, so f of i as i runs from m to n. Kapag sinim pag sinimplify natin ito, we'll start with m. That's c f of m plus, the next one is m plus 1, c of m plus 1, until such time that we will be reaching uh, c times f sub n, f of n, sorry. And then, we can factor out c. Tama, lahat ng terms may c. So you can factor out c and then you will have f of m plus c of f of m plus 1. Ah, sorry, wala na c. Of f of m plus 1 plus up to uh, f of n. And this whole thing here is equivalent to the summation of f of i as i runs from m to n. There you go. That's the first property of, of sigma notation. Let's have the second one. Second one is the summation of f of i plus g of i from i equals m to n is equivalent to uh, ito. Parang pwede mo i-distribute yung sigma notation. So you have summation of f of i as i runs from m to n plus the summation of uh, g of i as i runs from m to n. So, ibig sabihin lang nito, uh, pwede mong kuhan yung uh, separate summations ng dalawang, dalawang functions. So, let's show the proof. Okay, let's start with this side. The summation of um, f of i plus g of i as i runs from m to n. This is equivalent to uh, substitute lang ting m. And this will become f of m plus g of m plus the next one will be um, f of m plus 1 plus g of m plus 1 plus up to the last term which is n. Substitute n. f of n plus g of n okay what we're going to do here is we're going to combine lahat ng may lahat ng f okay and then combine lahat ng g so we will have f of m plus f of m plus 1 hanggang f of n and then we'll do it for g plus uh, g of m plus g of m plus 1 until g of n. And then by definition of summation notation, this is equivalent to, uh, sorry, you can write this as summation notation, a single summation notation. This is the summation of f of i from i equals m to n. Plus, and this one can also be written as a single summation notation. It's the summation of f, uh, sorry, g. Summation of, summation of g of i from i equals 1 to, sorry, from i equals m to n. And there you go. This box over here means your proof already ended, or your, that's the end of the proof. Let's have number three, third one.
For the third one, we have the summation of C from I equals M to N is equivalent to C times N minus 1 minus M plus 1. For this case, um, I will not show the proof like this one. Testing in na lang muna natin. C is any constant. For instance, summation of 3 from I equals 2 hanggang, hanggang uh, for instance, 5. So, this is equivalent to, pag sinabshit mo yung 2, so 3 pa din. Pag nag 3 ka, 3 pa din. Pag nag 4 ka, 3 pa din. Pag nag 5 ka, 3 pa din. So, this is equivalent to 3, 3 times 4. And 4 can be obtained by subtracting 2 from 5 and then adding 1. So, this is equivalent to 3 times 5 minus 2. That's the upper bound minus the lower bound of 2 plus 1. So, there you go. So, itong tatlong properties ng summation notation, gamitin natin to sa pag-evaluate pa ng uh, iba pang sigma notation.